What's up guys? I hope all everyone's well. I hope everyone is blessed. Welcome to my first tutorial, my first YouTube tutorial where we will be looking at how I edit eyes. This platform shall be a platform where I'm going to be posting all the various different tips and tricks that I have uh, when editing on the iPad Pro using Affinity Photo. I will, when uh, Photoshop updates their app start to look at photoshop as well and i'll be sharing how i edit using both apps i want to take the time and thank all those who have been asking me and begging me for this youtube channel i am going to deliver some amazing content for 2023 so do remember to subscribe and to follow and to share and to like and to comment so that we can get this uh, channel running efficiently I just want to give a quick shout out to actor Stephen Manis. He's awesome. Um, he's an actor from Ted Lasso. They won an Emmy um, and I was privileged enough, enough to have shot with him um, just before season three was being filmed. Um, what an awesome guy. And thank you for allowing me to use um, this image of you for my tutorial. Okay, let's get to work. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to edit eyes so you can see the before and after. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to show you and talk you through my process so that you can create some awesome looking eyes as well. So this was the finished product. We're just going to be stripping away the layers. As you can see, all the layers that I, I work with. Um, and as we zoom out in, we're going to just create an adjustment layer. Um, and then we're going to be looking for the curve tool. So we're going to the adjustments. We're going to look for the curve tool and then I'm going to show you what we do from there. So using the curve tool, you want to click, find the midpoint and just drag it out so that it increases the brightness of the image. Okay. Once you've found your sweet spot and bear in mind that if you're working with darker eye, darker color eyes, then you may want to increase the intensity. Um, if you're working with light color eyes, you may want to reduce because you want it to look natural as possible. Okay, next we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to the channels panel. And in the channels panel, what we're gonna do is simply press invert. So what that has effectively done is hidden the highlights we created with the curve tool. Okay, let's get to work. Let's zoom in. Let's select the brush tool on the left, in the left hand panel and we're going to pick a fairly small brush size. And the reason why we want to select a small brush size, we just want to have more control over the areas that we are going to uh, effectively brighten. So having a smaller brush size allows you to have more control. Okay, brilliant. After doing that, I want you to select the color panel and then I want you to select white as your color. After selecting white as your color, you're gonna head over to the iris and you're literally just gonna paint. And you're gonna take your time. If you wanna adjust your brush, just like I did here, you can adjust your brush, brush but simply paint. So we wanna effectively affect the highlights, um, affect the some of the mid-tones as well. But remember, you've created a mask. So with that curves adjustment tool, you can go back into that curves adjustment tool and you can um, edit the the contrast, the highlights and the shadows. So here you can see, I'm just showing you the before and the after. Um, and what I tend to do is I'll focus on the highlights as well, just to pop those, uh, bring that, bring it a bit more brighter so it, pop, it really pops in the image. Also, I love to kind of play with the tear ducts, um, the liquid under the eyes, as you can see here, you're gonna see it right now. I'm just gonna go and start to paint in that light hair. Um, it just brings it, just makes the eyes pop a bit more. And also the tear ducts, try and work with those, that area as well. Don't try, don't overdo it because you don't want the eyes to stand out too much. Um, you want it to be subtle, but you want it to have that kind of glassy look. Sometimes I, um, I add a bit of light underneath the eye, just where the eyelashes are, just to bring it out. You know, the little spots and uh, details there it just really brings out the area on the eye and helps the viewer to be drawn into the eye. So let's have a look before and after, as you can see, um, very subtle. Again, you can adjust this the way that you want it to be adjusted um, for your fit. Um, I would say don't overdo it. Um, just 
test it out, kind of gradually adjust as um, you go on and keep zooming out so that you can see um, the results. So we're coming to the end of the tutorial. Um, I just thought I would turn on the all my layers again so you can just see how it sits with a final um, full retouch of the skin and how it kind of sits. You kind of want it subtle enough that you know it can be seen. Look at the difference between the left eye and the right eye. You can see how um, effective this uh, retouching um, or, or process can be. Now imagine when you take the time to edit, you're going to get results like this, where the eyes just pop and they stand out even when you zoom out. Now we've all heard that the eyes are the windows to the soul and I very much believe that. I do believe that because when I'm taking a portrait, I'm always focusing on the eyes first and then I build around that. The eyes are the most engaging part of the human body. I believe that. I believe that that the eyes are the most engaging part of the human body and it allows us to really see the qualities and the characteristics of a person. This one person said to me, and this is why the reasons why I believe that eyes are so important. This one person gave me this feedback, which really transformed the way I took portraits. They said it's like, when they see my photo, it's like they're standing face to face with that person. Like they can feel the very breath of that person and that how their eyes engaged and drew them in. And that's why I find that um, spending time editing the eyes is crucial when in portrait photography. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial. Please send your comment, please write, uh, leave your comments below, send your like, share it. Um, and I look forward to creating another one with you. This is part one of how to edit eyes. There are There is another way of doing it, um, which is a little longer and I will be putting that up at some point soon. But anyway, have a good evening. Blessings to you all. Peace.